Hey guys, Kublak92 here, welcome back to my Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep playthrough. We're playing uh, Terra Story in Enchanted Dominion, so let's get straight into it. Now, all you need to do now is take off the three enemies that we finished last time. Try a new attack. And then you have to go examine here the door, it's gonna do all itself. This feels so familiar. Her heart is filled with light. Not the slightest touch of darkness. Just the kind of heart I need. For what? Imagine with me the most glorious of futures. Seven of the purest hearts, each overflowing with light. When brought together, they grant the power to rule all worlds. What do you mean? Why, that key you hold. The Keyblade, is it called? Where did you learn that name? That trinket is the only way to obtain the hearts. No more games! Where is Master Xehanort? Impudence will get you nowhere, child. If you wish to learn more, you must retrieve the heart of Aurora. And why would I ever want to do that? It's not a matter of why, but of will. In your heart, there is darkness just waiting to be awakened. I don't know what you're talking about. Perhaps not yet. But I have power over sleep. And I can awaken what's inside you. Then you will be free to be who you truly are. Remember, the darkness lurks in every heart. Darkness is our foe. Would that we could be rid of it. You must destroy it. Push the darkness down. Give it no quarter in your heart. Just what I've waited for. To think that all he spoke of was and will be true. What? How did I... What did I do? What did you do? You speak as if I pulled some invisible strings. No. You couldn't be further from the truth, child. I simply whispered to the darkness you already held inside. How could I do this? Then! Yes. Now, you want to know where Xehanort went. Well, that I cannot answer. He disappeared into the darkness. But now I know the Keyblade is necessary to gather hearts. Join me. Collect six more hearts of pure light. Then we will rule all the worlds together! You seem to be mixed up. I'm a peacekeeper, not a tyrant. Hmm. For a peacekeeper, 
You're off to an exceptionally poor start. Remember this. The darkness in your heart cannot be held back by force or strength. Now, my work here is done, as is yours. Wasn't there someone you needed to chase? Wait! What? <laughs> The Unversed. They're gonna bring down the castle. I have to do something. <laughs> well, I'm sorry for all the Terra fans out there, but I actually think that Terra's kind of retarded. He gets so easily tricked by everyone in the story. I kind of feel sorry for him in a way. So let's save. Before we go back to the hallway, we have to go through here. I'm gonna find another sticker. Yes. Uh, a chest. And the attack recipe I was talking earlier. Okay, now that that's done, we can go back. Like in every game of Kingdom Hearts, you have your shop or Moogle shop. But in this game you only have uh, the buy or sell option, not like in Kingdom Hearts 2 where you can uh, fuse the other objects, create new objects for AP, HP and all that stuff. So let's move on. Try beating as much enemies now as you can, first to get a level up if you can. Just hope I can reach level 4, because we're gonna have to fight our first boss for my battle so let's see. Oh, that was close. Freeze! Okay, so now we have to fight our first boss. His name is Wheelmaster. He has uh, three HP bars, which are his torso, his spindle, and his spinning wheel. 400 HP for his torso, and 250 for his spindle and spinning wheel. You can take them out if you want, it's, but it's optional. One bone makes the battle easier. Now, for the first thing you'll do, you're mm, going to do this two combo thing. It's, you have to dodge it, you can to block it because it really does damage. See, I'm gonna try. Once you take out some of the HP, you actually. Um, damn. Okay. That is another thing. Oh, yeah. Once you take out some of the HP, you actually um, get stuns. Yeah, when it jumps, also, you can't uh, block that attack because it's gonna hurt you anyways. So just dodge you by pressing your square. See, this is what I was talking about. Really 
Now, once you take out uh, his first uh, bar life, I think he gets a little mad and he's gonna do a rush attack thing. It's quite uh, hard to dodge, I think. But the love of God. Ooh. This is the thing I was talking about dodge. It's a plan, but we didn't. Come on, give me a break. Now we get our deck capacity increase, that means that we can add um, a new Google command uh, in our command board. And we get um, a new command style. And to make it work it's you actually have uh, to use a blizzard uh, while your dodge is uh, filling up. So you I'm have sorry. that uh, new one except um, I'll get instead of back. the original one we had uh, to the first of the game. Once I learn to stand up against the darkness. Why would Master Xehanort imprison the light? The purest hearts of light. Do they hold the answer? <laughs> Seven pure hearts, each completely void of darkness. Such a search may take some time. Now, like in every Kingdom Hearts game, you're gonna give you a Keyblade when you finish a world. I don't recommend equipping Fairy, Fairy Stars to Terra because it's basically more for magic and Terra is basically more for attack, so leave us original Keyblade. And maybe you should equip the next one we're gonna get when we go to Castle of Dreams. So let's see here. Now we can go to two new worlds. I recommend going first to Castle of Dreams because it's uh, a level 2 uh, world and the, the, the one of uh, Snow White is level 3. So I did get everything here so we don't have to go back. This world called Mirage Ren, we're gonna see it later. And uh, we have to go here because to get a Xana report you have to do something here in the Mirage Ren. So next we're gonna go head on is Castle of Dreams and we're gonna see that in the next video of Kingdom Hearts Verb by Sleep, a Terra Story.